It's BGNE, <laughs> fighting oncology, you know, whether it's leukemia or, or any of these blood cancers and things. Some of the numbers they reported today were pretty strong, Pete, and that stock up better than 8%. You can see on that chart there where there would be maybe a double top forming here. Mm -hmm. um, if we break through that, pretty bullish. If we don't, hmm, maybe that is overhead resistance that we just keep trying to punch through. So be aware of that. It's one of the reasons, even if Pete and I don't talk technicals that much, we do pay attention to support yeah. levels and resistance levels above the market. There's a real company. I mean, they got some very deep pipeline as well. It's it's they're they're loaded up and they got a great balance sheet. The only thing that concerns me at all is when you look at the cash burn, which we all know when you're in this particular part of the industry, there's going to be a cash burn. But when the cash burn is 1.28 billion, it's a big number. So despite the fact that they've got a, a great what looks like a great balance sheet outside of that, if it can break through that level at the top, that really does mean this stock is ready maybe to really get running just to keep an eye on where that is where's that resistance if it gets through there there might be a lot more room to the upside again they're in a spot where if they get any kind of a breakthrough forget about the chart they're gonna break out depending on how their leukemia treatments and other oncology stuff they're involved in we all know those are multi-billion dollar treatments and or even a cure god bless Mm -hmm. uh, would be amazing. And obviously, I think if people are shorting it here, Pete, which they might be against that double top, yeah. they might uh, come to regret that in the not too distant future. That could be a short uh, squeeze type thing, John, under those circumstances. So I would keep an eye on that really close.